Hello everybody, this is Doc, and we today, this is uh, our communication for 9-11-2020 for my online students, and I hope that you've had a productive week. Um, I want to let you know that I spent a lot of time today learning about Adventum. I had became much more familiar with it, and I think I'll be able to help you a lot more and also monitor your progress a little bit better. Some of you really need to start paying attention to the work that you're doing because you're not doing enough work to meet your goals and if this doesn't change I'm going to have to contact you and contact your parents uh, so you, that you can make adequate progress. When you log into Edmentum it lets me know how long you're logged on for but I also know how much work you're doing. So if you log in for four, three or four hours and then you decide you're going to go do something else it, it shows up. So you need to start making sure that your time is being used wisely and that you're staying on task. Um, also, there are time dates, and I didn't know a lot of these things, there are time dates on some of the work, and some of you have not completed assignments that are due, and those are going to be graded as a zero. So you're going to start seeing that your grade might have a problem if you don't start doing your work. So you need to make sure that you address it. The second thing I want to address is that if you're having struggles with the curriculum, if you don't understand something, you need to let me know. The best time to contact me most days is early in the morning, basically between about 8.30 to 10 o'clock in the morning. After that, I'm teaching classes. Now, tomorrow I'll be available most of the day, so this is a really good time for you to contact me. Um, you need to use the Hangouts. That's a much better way to contact me. So send me a, a message on Hangouts, and I can help you out if you're having a particular problem. Also, I was made aware of some of the features. so. You can expect to start seeing some discussion questions uh, show up that will uh, let me know that you're making good progress and that you understand the content better. So it was a good uh, productive day for me learning more about Edmentum and I think that I'll be able to help you a bit more. You need to look at your grade. Uh, I'll be updating a weekly grade in Power School and this will affect your eligibility if you're an athlete or in music and you need to make sure that you're making a good pace and if you're having a struggle you need to get in contact with the other thing I want to talk about is Foolproof Me. Uh, this is a state requirement. Many of you have enrolled, not all of you. Some of you enrolled in the wrong class, and we'll try to get you in a section where you're all by yourself. Um, I also know if you've made an attempt to work on it this week. Now, the goal was for you to finish the first module, so you need to finish that if at all possible. Please don't worry if you don't get a great score on the first one. These are a little tricky to work with. They can be very detailed. If you do not do well in the first one, you get a chance to retry it. And what I'm mostly looking for is that you engage in the activity, and it's more for it's as much for participation as for mastery. It will not affect your grade. It will not have a negative effect on your grade, but you do need to show that you understand the content. So I need you to spend some time on Foolproof Me if you have not done so, and to make sure that you're spending you know, the adequate amount of time that you're meeting the pace set in the curriculum. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you if you need any help uh, with Foolproof Me or with the um, Edmentum curriculum. Have a great day and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.